Boop, boop. Get that charcoal out of your mouth. Cheeky boy. Yes. Good boy. Sit. Yes. Oh. I'll drop that one. Sit. Yes. And we do down. Yes. So when I'm doing the down here, I'm going to have a couple of treats in my hand. And see how he just put the little gum nut in his mouth? As soon as I wave the treat in front of his nose, he drops it straight away. Keep his attention on what we're doing here. Down. Yes. Move my hand away. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. There we go. Good boy. Sit. Down. Yes. Good boy. Hey, hey. Sit. Down. Yes. And we keep these distractions around. People say, oh, we'll clear the whole place so we don't get too distracted. I say, leave these things here so it teaches him to be more focused on what I'm doing. Down. Yes. As soon as both those elbows touch the ground, I'll reward him. Now, not only are we teaching him to do the specific commands that I'm, I'm showing him, but I'm also teaching him how to learn. So I'm showing, okay, I've got treats, I don't just give it to him for free, I want him to learn to work for it, so it creates more synapses in his brain, keeps him um, more of a clever dog, and he doesn't become a dog that, um, that demands, ah, come on, hurry up, come on, jumps on me, barks at me, starts nipping at my feet. So now that I've got treats here, you can see how he's more focused, and he goes, okay, what are we doing next? And I want to um, teach him how to learn. So once I've taught him how to learn, as he gets older, then it's easier for us to have him under control. You go to the coffee shop, you tell him to sit, lay down, you're doing your thing and he's relaxed with you. Rather than trying to teach him something when there's so much distraction around. So I'll do it one more time. Yep, up. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Down. See how he's getting up again? I'm going to start it again. Down. Yes. As soon as he completely lays down, yes. Oh, he stands up again. I'll start it again. Down. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Hi.